My name is Robert Rosenson. I'm Director of Cardiometabolic uh, Unit at uh, Mount Sinai uh, Hospital and Professor of Medicine in the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Today I uh, discuss the highly difficult lipoprotein, or HDL particles, what we uh, thought we knew, what we don't know, and some of the future directions. We're well aware of the inverse relationship between HDL cholesterol and coronary heart disease uh, risk. However, much of this risk is explained by many of the other risk factors that modulate the HDL cholesterol levels, such as exercise, uh, having a low body weight, low incidence of diabetes, drinking alcohol, which increases HDL cholesterol and may be cardioprotective. And in very extensive multivariate analysis, we reported that HDL cholesterol is not related to uh, risk of coronary heart disease, data from the REGARDS uh, trial. Interestingly, the relationships uh, in Caucasians are different than they are in African Americans, suggesting that we need to learn more about some of the uh, racial differences, not only the uh, sex differences that we're well aware of, and try and understand the genetic basis for this. What do we know about genetic epidemiology? Well, if you have polymorphisms that affect uh, HDL cholesterol levels but not the HDL particles, such as uh, endothelial lipase polymorphisms, the LIPA gene, Again, there's no relationship between HDL cholesterol and myocardial infarction risk. What other uh, traits increase HDL uh, cholesterol that uh, are associated with lower risk? Cholesterol to transfer protein polymorphisms. Data that uh, has been uh, well established uh, from Framingham, uh, as well as uh, the Women's uh, Health Study and other studies. But if you pharmacologically inhibit CTP, can you uh, change the function of that particle in a way where it's deleterious? Well, going back to genetics, we know that people with heterozygous traits for CTP, CTP have a lower risk of coronary heart disease, but homozygotes who have much higher levels are not protected. There's a lesson here. Pharmacological inhibition of CTP raises HDL cholesterol by so much that you're actually simulating a situation seen in homozygous uh, patients. And it turns out that CTP inhibitors do not protect against coronary heart disease uh, risk. Even though they may retain some of their efflux capacity, they actually may lose their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. So supersizing the HDL particles with cholesterol results in a shedding of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory proteins, and those particles therefore lose their atheroprotective effects. How are we going to move this field forward? Well, I think we need to uh, develop uh, assays and continue to uh, refine assays on HDL functionality, such as shown with the macrophage cholesterol efflux assay uh, validated in the uh, Dallas Heart Study, as well as Epic Norfolk. We need to start thinking about the HDL proteome and lipidome, the quality of the particle. Again, if we had done this, we would have uh, probably saved billions of dollars in uh, pharmacological uh, you know, expenditure for CETP inhibitors. And those uh, tools need to uh, be uh, validated with imaging and then, of course, Mendelian randomization to uh, verify that these targets are in the causal pathway of uh, coronary heart disease or myocardial infarction risk. And it's only when we fill these parameters of looking at HDL particles, HDL subclasses, the functional properties, uh, and validating with uh, genetics, should we then move on to the next uh, therapy that would be evaluated in a clinical outcome study. So to summarize, the HDL field has gone through a complete uh, revolution. Our previous uh, efforts of loading up the particle with cholesterol, failed strategy. Now to now think about the small atheroprotective HDL particles that have unique uh, functions and uh, genetics is really uh, setting a path uh, forward as we recently learned from the adenyl cyclate polymorphisms in the DAL outcome studies, where people with certain traits have a, a lower event rate with dalcetropib, a CTP inhibitor, and also have uh, uh, more macrophage cholesterol efflux, lower CRP levels. So genetics, biomarkers, events is a new paradigm.